Brian, your journey to attaining financial freedom has not been without some dead rocks. Of course, you have failed somewhere and learned something. So what are those opportunities that the young people can delve in for them to attain uh, their first million before the age of 30? Thank you so much for that question. Uh, one of the first things I would talk about is that uh, me trusting people so quick and people who don't believe in my vision and people who don't believe into what I am trying to attain to. So that is the wrong thing which I did and every day I try to improve on that. Before I allow someone now in my circle or someone to be part of my life, I have to really understand them that they understand my vision and my goals and they are willing to be part of the ride because the ride is tight and we go so fast and I want someone to be ready to be a strong believer because every day we fail in whatever we are doing. I tell my team, every day we are failing and I tell myself, every day I'm failing. But what I need to know is that how quick can I start again? How quick can you start again? And that's one of the things which someone who is between 20 and 30, they have to know that Failure is part of life and failure is part of the process. And as quick as they can turn around to understand that they have failed and they can restart again, the faster they are. It's not bad to try out different opportunities. Distribute your opportunities. Don't hold them into one place. Also, luck is important. Some people may be wealthy because they are lucky. They made the right decision at the right time, at the right position. So that is one of the few things. Another thing, who are the people around you? Are those people able to give you access to the resources you need to grow as an individual? I ask a question. The first five people you have in your phone, can you call them to give you $1,000 as liquidity for you to start a certain small business? Because I will start an average business in Africa right now to start it. We start at $500 to $1,000. You can start a normal average business, which you can enjoy a good return on investment on that. So you need to understand the people you surround yourself with, that they can help you with the resources. Don't just surround yourself with everyone. People tend to waste our time for the future because we are here to live not for so long. We are here to live for the moment and that moment you need to take charge of the opportunity that before even you turn 30, you have used a strong opportunity for yourself to grow as an individual. Self-educate yourself, invest in you. That is one of the attain things which can help you to become financially free before you attain your years of 30. Read. I read an average of four books every month. That helps me to do that. But for me to, to attain that goal, I regift myself. You need to know how to regift yourself in portion. Don't wait to buy for yourself a plane. Regift yourself. It might be spending time with your kids. It might be going to visit one of your friends who you've been uh, taking so long time without seeing, but you are saying, okay, if I do ABC and Z, I'll have some time off for myself to go and spend time with my friend or do some activity. So regift yourself in small portions until when you get to the big goals until when you get to the big positions. It's like building a house, you build a foundation, regift to yourself. That is one of the important things. Another thing, when you surround yourself with people who understand the future and have seen the experience and have passed into the moment, that helps you to sidepass the mistakes which other people have done in, in, the, in the past. Let me say you have your 10,000. You don't lose it the same way I lost it in my first position because I didn't have so much of an opportunity for people to advise me or to guide me on where to put that first 10,000. And that's what even led me to open up a, uh, a crowdfunding because I wanted to help other young entrepreneurs that they can distribute their opportunities into different portions. Even if they come to invest with me, that's part of the opportunity. Even if they spend other money to self-educate themselves, to learn a new skill. You may learn just a new skill to use QuickBooks and you get another job online. And that's continued driving income to you. Also, you have invested money in another places. And another thing, our parents to give us an opportunity to be kids when we are kids. 
so many parents deny the kids of an opportunity to be kids i know we live in a different cultured way in africa but still you have an opportunity to be able as an african person on average to save like five dollars a week by the time you turn like 21 23 20 24 you at least have a minimum of ten thousand, which you have which you can self-invest in yourself or do a certain minimum a certain reasonable investment which can help you to attain that you financial freedom which you need and become a millionaire because there are so many i cannot even explain all of them but those are part of the things which you have to do as an individual to become a self-made millionaire before you turn that another thing is networking when you go to conferences where it talks about self uh, investment in yourself look for the connections as i get i said the connection which can give you resources you yourself you may not be able to enter a bank and bank gives you money to start a business but you may find people who believe in your concept you may find people who believe in your idea and you don't have to wait to finish your university to start working on your idea like when for me i started my business my accounting firm i saw it when i said when i was going to start my my uh, healthcare business but if I waited to finish school to start an accounting firm, I would have lost that opportunity. But the revenue which I got from that, it helped me to start my healthcare business, which has taken me also to another level. Position yourself in the right way. Find the right people to take you to the next step. Don't be comfortable where you are. Be striving for bigger things, but reasonably understanding what is your mission as an individual and what is your goal because you're going to meet so many great people with great ideas but those great ideas and great mission they might not be yours so you as an individual you need to sit down and that principle learn it for my own rethink every idea and every deal is good it's like land today we say oh my god people are selling land land is getting done but I'll tell you, even if tomorrow you have money, you buy you buy next to the state house. No way you cannot they cannot sell you. You just position yourself and be ready.